Thus far in July, we're on a record low tornado pace, just 12 tornadoes thus far. That is way below the average over the past 10 years, 86% below average. In fact, if we kept this pace up, we'd finish the month with just 16. That would be a new record low. The years 1950 and 1951 had 23, but that was at a time when we didn't record or didn't know about most of the weaker tornadoes. And so we really are in new territory if this pace keeps up. The average over the past 10 years for the month of July has been 110, so you can see how far below we are. It all has to do with the heat and the drought that have built up over the central part of the U.S. There's been a big high pressure area that is sinking air. It doesn't support thunderstorms and it also has winds that are very light. The jet stream has been pretty far to the north, even at mid levels of the atmosphere. And when that's the case, the winds are pretty slow over most of the United States. And when the winds at mid levels are slow, that means there isn't the shear, the kind of change of winds with height that allow us to develop rotating thunderstorms that have a higher threat of producing tornadoes. So instead, we've got these pop up. The thunderstorms just go up straight up. They get top heavy and collapse on themselves. They give hail, damaging winds, locally heavy rain, but not tornadoes. Let's hope that keeps up, except boy, we'd like to get some thunderstorms to break that heat in the drought.